Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Return to Monkey Island. Um, yeah, so we fell off the cliff, we miraculously <laughs> healed ourselves when we saw that we had the, the map to the secret. That's pretty cool. Elaine's gone off somewhere uh, to get to our ship. We're going to repair it, I think, so let's go do that. Ah, she's already there. That is gazeworthy. You can't actually get to the uh, northern part of the island now, where the uh, natives were in the uh, first, well, first few games, really, I suppose. Right, let's go to the ship. Slowpoke, you had a head start. All right, well, let's have a. I suppose we'll have a look at the. Oh, no, there's a trivia card there. Didn't see that before. Let's, uh, let's have a look. How many pirates are in the scum bar at the beginning of this game? Um, well, there's the three head pirates. There was one by the door. I think there were four around the next table. And I think there was one more sitting in the foreground. So I'm going to say nine. Is nine an answer? No. It could be eight. They might not count the foreground one. Yeah, okay. There we go. Achievement for that. Um, right, let's have a quick look at the uh, book that she gave us. This Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. Like it was written just for me. Alright, uh, we can use it on the ship. <laughs> Very good. Well, we did what we could with the materials <laughs> at hand. Oh, I love it. It oozes nostalgia. Among other things, you steer, I'll bail. <laughs> Ooh, parts four. How many parts there are? Very seaworthy. <laughs> huh. I would expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now. Oh my goodness, look at the damage! I've got to go and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake relief. You're not coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I want to hear all about it later. Right, like, uh, see you soon. I like Murray as the uh, figurehead. <laughs> Watch the ship for me. Uh, bite anyone who tries to steal it. You're fine. There aren't any scrap lumber dealers on Melee. <laughs> All right, I can see the chef crying, so let's go and... Uh, you saved the cookbook. Yes, I saved the cookbook. The ceiling was collapsing, the building was on fire, people running everywhere, and I saved the cookbook. Why? Excellent question. I can think of a hundred other things I'd rather have saved. <laughs> my favorite 12-inch knife, my collection of rare spices, a painting of my father, the mop that I painstakingly <laughs> crafted with my own hands, my cat. But in a crisis, you don't think. There isn't time. You just act. And by acting, you expose your inner self. Heroism and villainy are revealed in moments like these. Me? I saved the cookbook. You're welcome. Let's take it. Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. No, you can't take it! With my bar gone and no hope to repair it, this is all I have left! It's only slightly singed. Carla might not even notice. What are you drinking? Soda with a twist of avocado. It might be a little fizzy for your grog palates. Oh, sounds exotic. Not done with my drink. She is now. How come you're still here? The bar is half collapsed and slightly on fire. Get lost. Okay. Okay, well, could I swap the cookbook, potentially? 
Can I swap it with the truck's diary? Okay. Ooh, that was refreshing. Um, did you feel the earthquake? I was too busy running for my life! Okay, so... We will try and get that cookbook back at a, at a, at a point in the future. And I'm wondering about these fishing lures. Um, Elaine's wearing one, this pirate's wearing one. A lot of the characters seem to be wearing this particular fishing lure. I'm not quite sure why. I don't know if that's something important or just a detail that means absolutely nothing. I don't know. Searching for the secret since before you were born! That's exactly my point! Finding the secret is a young pirate's game! Years of experience and me relentless drive will ensure the secret be mine! Only if you don't have a heart attack first! Ha! Last chance to give it up! Then we obliterate you! Get off my ocean! <laughs> I'm impressed by your crosswind ramming technique. I'll have to add that to my book. My crew is quite skilled when given the right motivation. I am still worried about Threepwood. He shows up in the most unexpected ways. We don't have to worry about Threepwood anymore. I left him broken and near death at the bottom of a cliff. His eye was pussing up and bone was protruding from his leg. Animals have probably already scattered his limbs from one end of the island to the other. So it's agreed. We stop fighting each other and... We join forces to find the secret. Agreed. No funny stuff. We split the secret. Teammates. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to go to the voodoo shop, don't we? That's the. Uh, what was this? Someone defaced Elaine's scurvy flyer. Mm. Everything free. <laughs> Too late? Was LeChuck here? Did Madison come? Did they get it? Where's the secret? You've had it all this time! I possess little and much. To what are you referring? Don't play dumb with me. I have the map. The secret of Monkey Island is here! What is it you wish to know? It's in that big safe by the door, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Good guess. Why did you take the secret? Doesn't it belong on Monkey Island? I have taken nothing. The safe came to me as you see it and belongs to someone else. I accepted a fee and cast a spell upon it to prevent it being moved. That is all. Where are the keys to the safe? I'd like to get it open as soon as possible. I am prevented from helping you with the keys. Ah. Uh. But there is one close by who knows much. How do I find him? Her. And she will find you. How do you know that? She is outside the shop. <laughs> who owns the safe? Alas. There are forces which prevent me from revealing the true owner. A contract, signed in blood, with gruesome punishments for disclosure. Some kind of a voodoo thing? No. <laughs> How could you keep, How could you keep this a secret from me? You knew I was looking for it. It is not a secret from you, Guybrush Threepwood. It is a secret. Full stop. I am bound by an agreement. Have LeChuck or Captain Madison been here? 
No. That's weird. They were way ahead of me. Sometimes it's better to have two enemies than one. But you should not waste time. I might have more questions for you later. I might have answers, but I make no promises. Another trivia card. Quite nice. <laughs> I'm not sure what my success rate is, probably about 50-50. How many crows are in the ship's crow's nest? Well, I hope there's none a response. Zero. Yeah, I was going to say I didn't see any up there. You found the secret. You are a spark among fallen leaves. Does it count as finding it if it's sealed up in a safe? Finding and seeing are two separate things. It's a step on the road. I am Wideling Bones. Widey. Like you, the hunt for the secret consumes me. Like you, I know where the secret lies, but lack the means to open the safe. You must have many questions. <laughs> Well, you know, the more exclamation marks, the better. How do I open the safe? Five locks, five keys. Golden keys. Hidden long ago. So this isn't going to be as uh, simple as just going to the locksmith, then. Why is the secret in the safe instead of on Monkey Island? Do you know? Secret's always been in the safe. Uh-huh. Where can I find the golden keys? Most are found already. Got one myself. Old Mrs. Smith had one before she died, and Bella Fisher too. Also, I heard one was found on Bermuda. That's only four. One more was supposed to be hidden on Terror Island. That one has never been found. Hang on, I'm writing all this down on my to-do list. This doesn't sound so hard. <clears throat> A lot of people don't come back from Terror Island. Also, Bella Fisher sank out at sea and nobody knows where. Took her key with her. Oh. So, in the trivia questions, we had a question on Bermuda and we had one on Terror Island. Um, I hadn't been there yet, so obviously I didn't know the answers to those ones. Um, but they're in later in this game by the sound of it. That's why I hadn't heard of them before. Can I borrow the key you have? Just to try it out? Not so fast, bright boy. Whitey Bones is not such an easy mark. You prove yourself. Get some skin in the game. Find me when you've got more keys than I do, and maybe I talk partnership. How come I never heard about any of this before? I'm kind of a secret of Monkey Island buff. You'd think I'd know about it. The clues were buried deep and clever. Only a few ever puzzled them out. And we keep ourselves to ourselves. This all seems needlessly complicated. Life is like that sometimes. Best just enjoy the ride. You seem more lucid than when you were hanging out of the window on High Street. We all got our good days and our bad ones. If you don't know already, then you'll see. See you around, Whitey. I've got keys to track down. Okay, bright boy. But you watch your step. There is a curse. The keys are protected by a terrible curse. Beware. Whoa, a curse? Really? No. I mean, yes, she did say that, but she was just being dramatic. Whitey likes to make a big exit. Mm. Well, just noticed one that's the bench, sure. though. Another one of the trivia cards was about. I just guessed that it was purple flat. I better get a good right. C-map right away. <laughs> right. I think there's another one here. <laughs> the crate in the hold has what on its front? It was a cross, wasn't it? Yeah, I do remember that, because I noted that at the time. Doing fine. Still in business. Nothing free. Wait, weren't those <laughs> monocles free? Uh, 
Okay, we speak to Wally. Maybe he needs something from us to give us a specific map. Hey, Wally. What was the deal with all the crazy maps on Monkey Island? I made the map to the secret, and a darn good one, I might add. But what other people do with it after purchase is not my legal responsibility. <clears throat> Why didn't you tell me the map said the secret was right across the street? That would have saved me a lot of time. Sorry, but I was all NDA'd up on that one. <clears throat> have you got a sea map of the local area? Can you jot down the locations of Terror Island and Bermuda? No problem. I'll also add a few extras. The ship tracking feature is going to blow your mind. It's a little trick I know. You need to be able to go the extra mile if you want to make it in the big time, like me. Be careful. The last pirates I made a map to Terror Island for were never seen again. And Bermuda can chill you to the bone. Not many pirates want to head up there. Oh, and when you get to Scurvy Island, say hi to Elaine for me. Thanks, Wally. And sorry about blowing you up that one time. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's have a good look at this map then that he's just made for us. Um, where is it? It's probably this one, isn't it? I'll wait until I'm back on my ship to open it. Fair enough. Okay, so it looks like, sounds like we're getting a little bit into the meat of the game now. Like, everything up till now has been maybe sort of an extended intro sort of thing. Well, you know, maybe we're halfway through the game, but I do feel like this is going to be the bulk of the game, going to different islands and stuff like that. Oh, there's a shop open. It's the Cod's Wallop. This wasn't open before. Welcome to the Cod's Wallop. Thanks. We feature the freshest fish on the block, and the freshest company as well. Whether you're here to buy, or just pass the time, we don't mind. Though, of course, we do prefer it if you make a purchase. Didn't you guys used to be the pirate leaders? It's me, Gabber oh, Streetwood. Yeah, they did. Ah, I thought when we spotted him skulking around town that he looked passing familiar. How come you retired from pirate leadering? Well, now, sometimes retirement is not so much a choice as a thing that settles upon you. Like being becalmed at sea. But it's allowed us to open this place and pursue our passion for fishing. So perhaps less like a calm and more like a strong wind blowing in a particular direction. Have a look mm. around, why don't ya? They have hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. Mm. <laughs> what are these little yellow guys? They're lump suckers. Easy to eat and great for sucking out cysts and boils. These are tremendous. What are they? We don't actually know. Found them at the bottom of the shipment. Hmm. Are these eels? Hagfish. Very tasty, but don't let them get around your neck. Nice crab. Fought him for 11 hours. <laughs> Sorely wanted to eat him, <laughs> but it weren't crab season at the time. Nice shark. Don't let the size fool ya. The coral fire shark is the most dangerous shark of all. That one took down 17 good sailors and three dinghies before we even reeled them in. Hmm. What are those fish up there called? Floaters. Best not to ask why. <laughs> That's an amazing trophy you have there. Aye, that's a combination trophy in fly swatter. In case we ever get an insect infestation. What are these pointy ones? <gasps> Slime heads! Some folks like to cut off the pointy parts before eating, but that's a personal choice. What are these blobby guys? Toadfish. Surprisingly, no relation to actual toads. It's a copy of At the End of the Plank. Oh, I a gift from a good friend. I haven't actually read it myself yet. How much for the goldfish? Sushi's a pet. She's not for sale at any price. Something tells me we need to get sushi. Not sure why. What's yet. that flag with all the holes in it? Quite proud of that. We caught it up in a fishing net one day. Tis one of the signature flags of Bella Fisher herself. 
Bella Ooh. Fisher. That was Bella Fisher's flag? That's what I said, yes. Is the flag for sale? Bite your tongue. That's property of the chums. Shh. For the who? No one. It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. The Chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about mm -hmm. fish. Can I join the Chums? Well... Uh... Are there going to be three trials? I promise to keep it semi-secret. Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah, one time. I was swallowed by a manatee. Mm. No one knows what a manatee is. Trust me, make it a whale. It'll be better. Okay. Take this fishing lure. Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. What was I saying about Go the out and find them. fishing lure? Show them your lure and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can, then come back here and tell us your story again. You could start with that young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him where to start. He's supposed to look for the lures. Elaine's got one. Um, yeah, I want to look at this guy because he's blinking. <laughs> That's an interesting mounting method. Caught that one trying to escape. Excellent, Marlin. Aye, that ain't real. It's a promotional item from a local yak butter fellow. But it looks nice enough. Who's buying up for fish? Are the blowfish for sale? No, indeed. These are for personal use. They're excellent for bourbon contests. Care to join us? Don't mind if I do. Winner gets to keep the blowfish. <laughs> hey. Is he playing in the wrong end? <laughs> Aye, well done. I hereby declare this a draw. Okay, um, I guess, can I order fish? They have hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and mm. lump sucker. I'd like to buy some fish. That's an excellent life decision, me lad. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. What'll it be? What about the lump, lump sucker? sucker? Here's a box full. Should be plenty. You want me to run a tab for you? Sure. Thanks. Okay, so we've got a <laughs> load of lump suckers now. Um, cool. Well, I know the locksmith was displaying a fishing lure, wasn't she? So we could go and speak to her. Can't get in the church still. We could go in the jail. I wonder what's happened to Stan. Hey, Guybrush! What happened here? It's been reduced to rubble. Oh, the earthquake. Otis, Otis, Otis. What are we going to do with you? I didn't do anything this time. I was framed. Where's Stan? Did they let him go? No. Stan got sentenced to a hard time. Did you know he was representing himself? I've heard that's unwise. They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. What did you do to get arrested this time? Nothing! I was just standing there minding my own business, applying for earthquake relief. Did you know you're only allowed to do that once? There is no justice. <laughs> Uh, we talked to him again. There was some other stuff, wasn't there? I'd like you to tell the museum curator about our jailbreak all those years ago. The one with the mugs of grog. He doesn't seem to have the story quite right. Of course, the truth is important. When I am free again, I will pay him a visit. Well, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Are you worried the rest of the building will cave in? Yes. You think you could spring me again? Ugh, I doubt it. It looks like something happened to the serial number on this lock. Let's visit again soon. Have your people call my people. We don't still have the jail key we used. I was wondering if perhaps we could do that again. Uh, we 
quickly see if there's any trivia cards in here. I can't see see it. The lamp broke. Possibly an improvement. I might check out the alley again for the same reason. Welcome back. Hi there. Share the fishing there. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. My ship was swallowed by a whale. Hmm. But then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Does someone get married or killed or both? People want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay, one time. My ship was swallowed by a whale. <laughs> the creature fled. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. I think you've got a lock on it. <laughs> I can tell it's early in your training. Find some other members of the chums, and they'll help you hone your skills. Okay. Okay, well, we should go to the mansion, I suppose, and then we'll explore the rest of the island. Ooh. I wonder what they're waiting for. What are y'all waiting for? Earthquake relief. And you'd better not be looking to jump the line. I wouldn't dream of it. Those who cut, get cut. Can I get it? Hey! Oh. Thanks, Carla. Good luck. Guybrush. Hi. I want to hear all about the secret, but I've got to go back to Scurvy Island right now. So let's talk later. Okay. Now the trivia card. Let's have a look. Below the cliff on Monkey Island is the rubber trees. <laughs> we can say pain, only pain. Um. Yeah, I mean, if it was the first game, it would be rubber tree, but I, I've guessed that they were referring to this game. Okay. Have you seen the line of people outside? Those are citizens who were affected by the quake. But there isn't any money in the coffers to support the relief effort. I'm basically handing out IOUs. Can I get in on some of that sweet, sweet disaster relief? I already told you there's no money. I'm handing out IOUs. I'll take what I can get. Fine. It's not real money anyway. I have to list a purpose, so what's it for? Park, but it does have a shipyard. We need to get the shipyard fixed up. If you say so, this is just a promise from the town to back your relief project at a later date. Don't get too excited. We might need a specific one for, for something later, but I, obviously I don't know yet what that might be. So we might have to come back here later on. Locations opened up. The forest, got the museum, got the lookout point, shipyard. Looks like about it. Um, let's go to the museum. <clears throat> let the bridge is uh, down. Oh, he's got another parrot. Two parrots. Security's been beefed up. Or, I should say, parroted up. Tell me about this flag. Oh, it's a super valuable artifact I recently acquired. One of Bella Fisher's original pirate flags. One of only three known to exist. Can I 
do it again? Can I? <laughs> Apparently so. Can we go back in? Because I wanted to. I wanted to just search the place and see if there's any more trivia cards or anything there. He's got another one. Your pirate flag doesn't look quite right. Is it a replica? You have a good eye. You should carry it to a museum. The real one is too valuable to keep out here. I've got it locked in the storeroom. There's already been an attempted theft. Hmm, okay. It's locked. Can I inspect the lock? Can I try the key? This key doesn't fit. Times a knife. Uh, I skipped school the day they taught lockpicking. It's a replica of Bella Fisher's flag. I mean, perhaps a replica is enough. I could do a quick look at the uh, forest, I suppose. Yeah, that's what I that's what I was wondering if there were trivia cards here. Let's have a look. David Fox started working for Lucasfilm Games in oh goodness. Wow, I mean I have no idea. I'm gonna say David Fox. <laughs> oh dear. Everything's still rather in bad shape here. The old mop tree. I guess we'll leave. We could go back to the shipyard, see if there's anything going on there. Then we'll head to the lookout point. Um, Stan's we'll... building collapsed! This place looks like an earthquake hit it. Take Stan's old toothbrush. If we ever find him again, we can give it to him. There's a torn picture in here. This half shows Stan himself. I'll take that. Um, quick look at the dot. What's this? Bucket's gone. Go this way. Don't think so. No cards that I can see, at least. Okay. Let's head to the lookout. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. Uh, I think I'll fill up my coat pockets with this bulky firewood. Seems like it might come in handy somewhere. And I'm sure no one will miss it. <laughs> oh, there is a trivia card there. It looks like part of the rock. All right, let's see what this one is. Which is a genuine skull name? Well, Murray, I suppose. I did notice, I think, that one of the skulls was called Dorothy. I think that's right. I didn't notice what the others were called, so it's lucky they asked about that one. Right, we'll go and talk to the other chum, and then we'll have a little look at our to-do list, just to sort of get fixed clear in our minds what we're supposed to do. But I think we're probably supposed to jump on our boat and go to the island. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time, my ship was swallowed by a whale. I helped her escape when night fell. We still write from time to time. You know, what your story needs is a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? Okay. Okay. 
The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my correct. first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. And then we escaped through the digestive system, ship and all. Yeah, that's the way. Your story's not bad. But it's missing a few things. Find some other chums to help you fill in the gaps. I'll do that. Okay, so let's have a quick look at our to-do list then. Get the flag from the fish shop. Okay, well that is a... T okay, so we do have to get that then. I got the museum's flag, but I still have to get the museum's real flag. Okay. Become a high-ranking chum. I mean, it's possible we can't do those things until we've been to other locations. Oh, there's another trivia. What animal is featured on Bella Fisher's ship? Well, I'm not going to answer that yet, because we haven't found Bella Fisher's ship. So, at some point when we do, we'll answer that question. Um, I want to speak to the locksmith again. We can maybe try our story out on the guys in the fish shop, see if that has any effect on them now. Hello. Maybe they can tell us about Bella Fisher. What can you tell me about Bella Fisher? Bella Fisher. I she could spin a yarn from Port Royal to Trinidad and back again. And a mm. consummate angler she was. W what? Good at fishing. She had a secret fishing spot she did. More bounteous than the whole rest of the sea together. She probably rests there now, being as she did disappear on a fishing trip. No one knows the location, though tis rumored that she left clues as to its whereabouts. Maybe the flags. Did Bella Fisher ever show you a big fancy key? Not to my memory. No, I don't think so. Just thought I'd check. Um. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. Show our fishing lure to the guy down here. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. I presume you want to tell a story, but I can also tell just by looking at you that you're not ready for the likes of us. Go out and find more chums okay. to advise you. They'll know when you're ready. Fair enough. Lane's definitely. I just want to talk to her about, see if she'll Hi there. talk Hello. about the Hello again. museum at all. Can I get another key made? Sure. Just write down the serial number and give it to me. Again. Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Whitey Bones said something about an Old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did. Mainly when she was older. Have you heard of the Golden Keys? Sure. My mother had one of them. Had? She left it to me in her will. I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. When my mother died, her personal possessions went into probate with the court. When they came out of probate, I was still too devastated to claim them. As you can see from this letter the court sent, they and the key have been destroyed. Well, this is an unexpected wrinkle. What happened to your mother's golden key? As you can see from the letter I gave you, the court destroyed the key. Hmm. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. 
what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Um... Well, like I said before, it's possible we just don't have everything we need at this point to solve the riddles on Melee Island. But I'm just going to return to the museum and I'm going to use my eyeglass thing on the door. It didn't have a specific pop, uh, you know, point for the lock itself. Um, just to see if this works. There's tiny writing. New serial numberless lock. Huh. Let's talk to him. Maybe he knows about it. Any chance you'll have the real flag on display anytime soon? Oh, no. Too valuable. It definitely stays in the storeroom. We ask the locksmith. Okay, we're going to go back to the locksmith and just ask about the a lock that doesn't have a serial number. And then we'll probably head to our ship and uh, go somewhere else. Hi there. Hiya. Hello again. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Okay, so no serial number. Alright, never mind. Let's go to a different island then and maybe we'll discover stuff that will help us with the remaining stuff we've got to do here. Okay, so there's Melee. We've got Scurvy Island and Terror Island. <laughs> Look at that. Um, can I move the map up at all? Alright, we could go to Scurvy first. Oh, there's Bare Bones Island. That's quite small. We could go there. Sail to an adrift ship. Interesting. Um, if we were to go up here, there's but Halt! Bermuda. Ship! If... If that's what you can call that. I made it myself. It's a source of pride. <laughs> this is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Have I mentioned my wife is spearheading a... Good for you. Due to an outbreak of scurvy, all ships heading north are required to carry limes. Sounds like a reasonable law. You will have to turn back. Failure to do so will result in fines, incarceration, and or scurvy. Fair enough. Okay, well, let's head to a couple of these other little ones first. Let's go to an adrift ship and see what's there. Ahoy! Ahoy! Ooh. Da -da -da -da. Permission to come aboard. Afraid we can't let you do that. Permission to come aboard, sir. This isn't a protocol issue. Although we do enjoy a good protocol. Are you going to let me talk? Apparently, that's what you enjoy doing. There's been a deadly scurvy <laughs> outbreak on the ship. We're under strict quarantine, so we don't <laughs> infect others with this deadly pathogen. I don't think scurvy is contagious. You don't know that. My mom's gardener's second cousin's <laughs> pastry chef says it is. It's a scientific to. fact. No, oh, don't try to snow us with your science quackery. If scurvy wasn't contagious, then only one person would have it. <laughs> Duh. Where'd you get that cool flag with all the holes? It looks familiar. We found it floating in the ocean. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags. She probably lost it when her ship went down. We're afraid to take it down and offend the scurvy gods. <sighs> there is no such thing as the scurvy gods. Well, then why is there scurvy? Answer me that! <laughs> Can I have your flag? Did you not hear me? Scurvy! On board! Quarantine! Well, you could just toss it down to me. Best not to risk it. It's probably <laughs> crawling with scurvy, trust me. Bye. Don't let the scurvy bite you. Scurvy bites? Oh, I knew this was bad. <laughs> um. How do we get 
get going again. Sail away. All right, let's go up to that Bare Bones Island, and then we'll go down to Scurvy Island. It won't budge. It's strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. It beats trying to find the keys. We don't even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. We'll take my ship. I'll stay here to keep an eye on the safe. And steal the secret yourself? I don't think so. Stop it. <laughs> Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost somewhere on Monkey Island. Probably eaten by a wild boar by now. The map maker knows it's here. I've got a bone to pick with him anyway. I'm thinking maybe one of the large ones in the leg. Mm -hmm. Stay back! I can see you! How did you find me? I just sailed up and here you were. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Are you alone? Do obnoxious talking skulls count? No. Then yes, I'm alone. <laughs> I heard that. I'm Ned Filigree, Accountant. I don't mean to be rude, it's just that I'm in hiding. You must be good at math. I'm a creative accountant. Math doesn't really enter into it. You any good? Don't judge me by where I live. I've just had a few setbacks. It's all I can afford right now, but it's temporary. Who is it you're afraid of? Well, have you heard of Stan S. Stanman? Mm. It sounds familiar. Thank goodness they locked him away on Bermuda. He'll be chipping ice in the quarry for a long, long time. I can't help but be nervous, but actually, I guess I've got decades before I really have to worry about it. How come you're afraid of Stan? He's always struck me as pretty harmless, except economically. Sure, but you never can tell what someone like Stan will do. He's got no moral center. Like I said, I'm glad he's safely stuck in the Bermuda Quarry for a good long time. I'm on a quest to recover the secret of Monkey Island. That's a good move. I've heard the secret is a one-of-a-kind intangible, which means you can assign it whatever value you want to. Also, since it's very old, you can claim a lot of depreciation. Wait, are you trying to tell me I'm going to have to pay taxes on the secret? Not if you're smart about it. I'm going to explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. Easy, Ned. He's not coming. Let's see what this one is. The mad... Oh, we've done that one. In Monkey Island 2, who had a glass bottom ship? Captain Kate Capsize. That's a mighty fine looking chest you have there. What's in it? Everything I own. The fruits of a man's life. The yardstick by which I'll be measured when I'm gone. It's mainly paperwork. Nice likeness of you. Where's the other half? No comment. I think I know. He's in jail for years and years. I admit it. I know Stan, so what of it? You can't prove anything. Can I have the picture? No! That would be weird. But maybe Is I could put sale? that together and it would be the oh, same no. photograph. Oh wait, but. it's a seagull. Probate order 16738832, pursuant to statute E, section C, subsection IS. By order of the court, the following unclaimed personal effects have been destroyed. Golden key, fancy box. Looks official. It's got a wax seal of a paradigm. I don't see a chum's lure anywhere. Years and years and years. Remember that. Can you definitely not put those together. 
All right, well, I'm not seeing much else to do here for now. Maybe we'll come back later. Um, let's head to Scurvy. Oh, it's a chuck ship. Ah, Scurvy Island. This is where Elaine's been growing all the limes for the Marley Foundation's Scurvy Project. She's probably back here by now. I can't wait to see her. The trivia card. Melly Island Circus was run by the Fettuccini Brothers. Monkey Island 1. It's a very realistic likeness of the scarlet plumed point and snip bird. I didn't mm -hmm. know Elaine was into woodworking. Whoa, had me fooled. <laughs> it says the Marley Foundation Scurvy Treatment and Prevention League, or STAPL, welcomes you to Scurvy Island, 1.5 miles to STAPL headquarters. Beach, lots of lime groves, a big rock, camp, not about seagulls or anything. Uh, lighthouse, okay, there's a few things here. Let's uh, start by going off to the beach. That's where all the driftwood goes during driftwood mating season. Okay, so he's not doesn't want to go there. Uh, we'll try the oh, I love that place. It's like a hundred foot candy cane. Okay. Elaine and I swim there sometimes. Elaine and I debate about whether it looks like a parrot or a cockatoo. We're going to the camp. <laughs> Elaine, are you decent? Hello? Another trivia card. Let's have a look at this one. The duck in the park can be fed. Oh, I gave it bread, didn't I? Yeah. Hey, this used to be a picture of both of us. What happened to the me part? I don't know what that's achieved. Um, but sure. Okay. Hi, I'm working due west of the waterfall and due north of the lighthouse today. I pinched a yak with it once, and then I sort of accidentally pinched the staple remover. I had it for years before I remembered to give it back to Elaine. She was happy and mad at the same time. Mappy. <laughs> Pirates used to have to steal this from Elaine to prove themselves. No, at least that's what they told me when they made me do it. In the tent? Okay, so north of the lighthouse, west of the waterfall. She would be. Yeah. Hi. Hi! What's a nice girl like you doing in a tropical paradise like this? Harvesting limes for the foundation and waiting for a ruggedly handsome pirate to stop by. What happened at the voodoo shop? Did you get the secret? There was a complication. Isn't there always? A big, heavy, rectangular complication with five keyholes and a secret inside. Well, that sounds daunting. What about Lechuck and Captain Madison? They weren't there, oddly enough. Well, be careful. How's your project going? The project has hit a snag. We have plenty of limes, as you can see, but people are refusing to take them. <laughs> they say they don't like the taste and they don't believe they'll help with scurvy. As an elected official, I could have issued an edict, but as a private citizen, I have to convince people. I tried this flyer. Yeah, I've read part of this. I know, I, I know it's terribly dry, but the facts are there. Have you tried using a different font? Comic Sans, for example. <laughs> yes, but I need a small one to fit all the information on. What about adding bullet points? They could be little limes. People not liking limes is part of the problem, though. Good point. What if the text was centered instead of left justified? Somehow I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. 
I'm not sure what to tell you. It's basically a sales and marketing problem, and neither of us is an expert in either of those things. Yeah, I see what you mean. I'll hang on to the flyer. Maybe I can find a sales and marketing expert to look at it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we might know a guy. Um, talk to Elaine again. How come the picture of us on your desk was torn in half? Oh, yes. Sorry you saw that. There was an incident with a seagull. It flew away with you into the lime groves. I looked, but I couldn't find you. I see. Can you spare any limes? You can take a few. Well, like I said, I'm having trouble giving them away. Love you. You too. All right, there's a trivia card here. Quite a lot of stuff in the inventory now. How many parents are next to the scurvy dog shack? Well, that's at the beginning of the game, isn't it? Um, unless we go back there again later. I don't remember. What are the options? I'm going to say no. No, there's zero parrots. Okay. Never mind. I didn't note that at the time. Let's try here. There's a seagull. Wow. The lane sure has been busy. Another trivia card. Ah, whoa! We could give it some chicken feed. It's not a ghost chicken. It's a seagull. Fair enough. What about some crackers? It's not a parrot. It's a seagull. Okay. All right, all right. What about the fish, then? The bird has a torn picture in its nest. Is that a picture of me? Ah, whoa! Can I not get the trivia guys? Ah! No way. I don't want to lose my hand. Um. Hmm. Right, okay. I'm trying to think if there was if there was a different fish on Melly Island that could remove the seagull. Can't remove the bloater. That sounded unpleasant. Um, oh, we have the limes to get to Bermuda now, so there's that. I might go back to the beach and. Probably we'll call it a day here. I'll just go back to our ship. A little bit closer. Right, so we'll leave it there. When we come back, we're gonna we'll travel north to Bermuda. Um, got lots of stuff on our to-do list now, so hopefully, you know, we'll start unlocking the ability to do some of that stuff. So there might be solutions already available to me that I've just not seen yet, but I want to explore uh, the next island first and just um, you know kind of see for myself where all the kind of moving parts are in the puzzles if you like. So thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, if you did then please do hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel as well, that'd be amazing. And in the meantime, I hope to see you next time for more Return to Monkey Island. Bye for now.